just along my local tool shop and ordered this here. Not the top one, I've already got the top one, which is that there. But I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna use it. If I'm gonna use it for an actual toolbox and you know, and put that bit on top, um, or if I'm gonna use it, you know, and put sort of clamps and drill bits and whatever we need for, for the mill here. Because you know, quickly realized that I need something here or here or something just for like holding everything. It's like stuff's just sitting on the floor or on a cardboard box right now. Not good. What I'm gonna do is switch on the milling machine. I was along here earlier and um, had a little play with it. And I don't know, I don't know if you remember, but yesterday I was having like the z-axis, I was having the the spindle go up and down and I couldn't quite figure out why it would it would sort of go it would go and then just go like just the tiniest tiniest sort of uh, increments going down and I figured it out I was playing around with it I figured out um, it was doing five millimeters a minute like that's the speed it was going down at and I thought wait a minute like I was typing in five and I assumed it was like feet per minute or meters per minute or whatever it was it was millimeters per minute so it's doing that much in a minute so that's yeah you get the idea this controller believe it or not horror of horrors is a uh, windows based it runs windows how scary is that but it is what it is i think it's going to be okay from what i can tell it's all good this isn't a production thing i'm not running production pieces on it this is just me messing about prototyping projects things like that so um, I think Windows should be okay for that the machine is homing just now you can probably hear that I don't know if you can see it though um, there we go It seems that every every time you switch it on, you have to, to rehome it. It seems to be that's what's required, but... Um... Can you at least make just a few steel, brass or aluminium spinners for the people who don't have 150 extra dollars to spend on a spinner? No. Uh... Not, just not my scene, not my style. Do you spend your life doing this sad stuff? I do, this is my life. Why don't you make plastic spinners? I'm assuming that's either a joke or someone who hasn't watched even one of my videos. Michael Gilbert said, my father taught me this advice long ago. You get what you pay for. That is very, very true. Stop talking and release your spinners, FFS, which I assume means for F's sake. Only talking man, blah, blah, blah. Um, yes, uh, my videos, my editing, my YouTube channel, I can do what I want, I think. How did you start doing metal work? I would love to do metal work as a job when I grow up, but I don't know where to start. Have you always worked for yourself or did you work for a metal working company before? Um, no, uh, very quickly I saw some projects on kickstarter.com, people making little me metal pocket tools, I thought oh I could do that. So I downloaded a free open source CAD program, designed a couple of parts, got titanium, shipped in from the US, took it, alo took it along a local company with a water jet cutter because I didn't have that water jet cutter at the time. And that was pretty much how I got started. Right, time to keep moving. Right, time for a bit of lunch now. I know what you're thinking, you're thinking Magnus. It is absolutely scorching hot, why are you wearing that jumper? And I am wondering the same thing myself. Back at the house now. 
tomorrow morning I have training for the new CNC machine so that's going to be quite exciting like I started sort of getting the hang of it today just mucking around I mean not actually milling anything no bits in no measuring tool offsets anything like that but tomorrow um, you know we'll see how it goes it'll be a few hours I, I estimate some like three or four hours training and yeah it'll be interesting to see see sort of how soon after I can sort of start milling something I just want to like mill something out of aluminium just just sort of do it now I'm going to show you something here open the car what I bought I bought this on the way back today from Tauranga Eco Cool 700 NBF by Fuchs apparently um, that's the stuff I need to get uh, my machinist said it's probably a bit overkill for what I'm doing but it's good stuff it's coolant for the milling machine almost certainly don't need it for making anything out of aluminium I don't think I think you can just blow air or a mist or something I don't really know um, you know I'll figure it out um, I, I tend not to like learn stuff until I really need to learn it like I don't plan in advance or anything I just like my main focus is like I want just to be effective and get things done I just sort of like try and get to the core of what's needed when it's needed um, I can't remember what I was talking about uh, yeah the coolant needed for titanium lots of it lots and lots and lots so that's what that's for um, so I don't think I'll need it right away I think that is probably it from me for today I will leave you with a quote of course from one of my favorite people to quote from Marcus Aurelius and he said very little is needed to make a happy life it is all within yourself in your way of thinking <laughs>